Welcome back to our family worship experience. My name is Miss Amanda and I'm so glad that you are joining us. Now you'll remember that for the whole month of June and July, our life application that we are focusing on is confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Now you have to remember that you are made in God's image. God sees how special you are and God loves you more than anything. And when you start to realize those things, you'll realize that you have the confidence to take on any challenge that you can imagine. And we're going to be talking more about that confidence today and what that looks like. But first, let's stand and do some praise and worship. My check. One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play. Oh, man, don't scare me like I'm that. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get your attention. What are you <sighs> doing? I'm playing a new VR game I've got. You got, okay, these colorful boxes. They uh -huh. fly at you, and then and you're supposed to knock them out to the beat of the music, right? It's really fun. Hey, you want to try? Uh, no, no. I, I, I've played VR games before, and it just it feels like I'm really there, and it can be overwhelming. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. All right, you talked me into All it. Right. Yeah. yeah, okay. <sighs> Here we go. Pull out your hand. Here's oh, that one. thank you. Here's this one. Awesome. Uh, wait, no, uh, right there. Right here? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. All right, can you see anything? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a space it. area okay. zone. 
Great. All right, yeah. Do you think you got a handle on it? Yeah, so the boxes come at me and I just start hitting them, right? That's right, you hit them to the beat of the music. To the beat of the music, okay, I'm okay, ready. Uh, the game has started, are you ready? Ready. Here you go. Where is it? There's no boxes. No, it's okay, it's, the boxes will come, just try and feel the beat. Okay. Get it in your system, man. Feel the beat. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, oh, I feel something. I felt it. Oh, hey, hello, everyone. My name is John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. Interesting. Yeah, maybe you noticed my attire. It's hard to not notice. Yeah, you better be nice to me because, buddy. I'm about to hit the big time. Oh, you sound so confident. I am totally confident. I'd love to hear more about your plan to become famous while wearing a white turtleneck. I will give it to you. To answer that question, Brandon, I'll need to bring on a guest. Someone who knows stuff? Someone who knows stuff! Uh, Boom! Hey, come on over here to see. Good to see you. I ready. Partner. Partner. <laughs> For those in our audience who don't know you, Cassie, who are you and what do you know? Hello, my name is Cassie. I'm an influencer slash singer slash YouTuber slash fashion icon, but I'm on the show because John is my cousin. Family. <laughs> okay, and apparently you and John have some plan to become famous? Uh, we certainly do. We're Brandon. entering ourselves into a high stakes singing competition. <laughs> and the winners of the competition get a record contract. <laughs> 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 wow, that's great. Uh, yeah, so, John, I, I didn't know that you were interested in being a singer. I guess I'm not, Brandon, but you know what I am interested in? Fame. And I'm interested in the integrity of the music. She sure <laughs> is! That's why Cassie's been practicing around the clock. Oh, yeah, what about you? Huh? I mean, have you been practicing? I mean, what is... Practice, practice? Why are we talking about practice? What are you saying? Are you telling me that you haven't been working on our routine? No, of course not. No, I've been working on our routine. Oh, well, why don't you do it for us then? I can't wait to hear it. I'm ready, John. Are you? <laughs> All right, then. Take it away. Okay. <clears throat> Hey everyone, what an amazing crowd we have here today. I'm Cassie, and this is John, yeah. and together we're... Sun-kissed apples in the two balloons. The sunshine duo. Yeah. <laughs> and our first song is... Love in the summertime. Love in the summertime. summertime. I just said that. Two, three, four. four. Ooh, 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 I'm walking down the street with the sun blazing on. I, I know love. Hi, hi, the sun is up high. John, what was the matter with you? Nothing. I'm. I'm fine. I just, I, I just didn't have time to look at that one. That's all. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, the other one I'm way better on, so don't worry. Oh, super. Let's hear that one. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. What a wonderful audience. Our next song is about lions. Lions, <laughs> and it's called... Lion Time. <laughs> Lion Time. <laughs> Two, Two, three, four. Rawr! 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm in the zoo. Joe zoo. I'm, I'm in, in the zoo. zoo. I'm, I'm walking around, around and I see, see a lion. Roar! Roar! I'm a fan, a fan of, of lions. lions. And, and they're, they're a, a fan, fan of, of me. Okay, oh. John, why don't you know the song? I just, I thought I could wing it. We're, we're naturally talented, right? Yes. Yes, and I didn't feel like it would be a problem to just go out there and just, you know. Where are you going? I am going to see if there is anything in the bylaws of the competition that allows me to leave my partner, even though we signed up as a team. No, don't do that, Cassie! And you know what? You can't keep that vest. No! I, I don't understand. It wasn't that bad, was it? Do you want me to tell you the truth? Yes. It was awful. Then no. I just don't think your plan to wing it was the best plan. But I'm good at winging it. I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, one of those 
the they're a bird on the they they're on the mountain and they just like that. That's how that's how good I am at at winging it. Uh huh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, fellas? Hey, Kellen. Do you think I'm a great singer? It wouldn't be the first way I'd describe you. The second? What are we talking about today, Kellen? Today we're talking about the Battle of Jericho. And for a story so epic, I'll need help from the So-and-So Show players. Here's the backstory. Joshua, Moses' former right-hand man, had led the Israelites into the land God had promised them, the land of Canaan. Now, the Canaanites were enemies of the Israelites. So, if the Israelites were going to stay in that land, they'd have to fight. And that's where our story begins, with Joshua thinking about what to do next near the high-walled city of Jericho. How can a city tall and surrounded by walls be conquered by this ragtag tribe. We're so small. I know we got the Lord, but how do we do it? We rush the front gate and try to burst through it. I'm working on a plan. I'm following God's command. We're gonna take a stand, but I'm still just one man. Who are you? Are you on our side or the side of our enemies? I am on neither side. I have come as the commander of the Lord's army. Now take off your sandals. You are standing on holy ground. The Lord has decided to hand Jericho over to you. The Lord told Joshua how they would defeat Jericho. They should march around the city for seven days. And on the seventh day, they should march around the city again seven times. Then blow some trumpets and the city walls would just fall down. Joshua gathered his army together to tell them the plan. Abinadab, here. Elijah, here. and Shechi. Yep. The Lord has said we will win Jericho. How can we pass this giant wall? The Lord above has got a plan. What if their army destroys us all? Like I said, we got this man. We'll walk around, walk around for seven days and then we'll blow some horns. But that's it. We don't know exactly what was going through the minds of the Israelites over the course of the week, but I'm guessing there are a lot of questions. Would walking around a city and then blowing some trumpets be enough? Will the walls really fall down? Was God's plan really the best plan? There's a good chance Joshua had to calm his men's fears to help them have confidence. Every night after marching, I will pray. Pray, pray, pray. I just wish the results could have happened today. Day, day, day. You know we need to trust in God's plan. It's hard to believe, but it's true. How could trumpets beat an army so much bigger than you? We have to have confidence in the Lord. But I'm scared. There's so much to take on. Yeah, I know. It's scary to do something that doesn't seem like it makes sense, but remember, God can see the whole picture. I know there's a reason for his design. He has promised all will be fine. We just have to wait on him. We just have to wait on him. Joshua and the Israelites did as the Lord told them. They marched around the city for six days. And on the seventh day, they marched around the walls of Jericho seven times. Then they blew their trumpets. Shout! The Lord has given you the city! Ah! The walls fell and the Israelites took the city. Oh, we did it! God's plan actually worked! I never had a doubt! <laughs> oh, we didn't throw away our chance! No, we didn't throw away our chance! We didn't understand, but we trusted in God's plan! And, and we, we didn't, didn't throw away our chance! chance. 
What a great job. Let's hear it for the so-and-so show players. It isn't always easy to see God's plan, especially when things in your life or in the world seem out of control. But remember, we only see a small part of the puzzle. God sees the whole picture, and we can be confident that he knows what's best. I'll see you next time, fellas. Oh, yeah, thanks, Kellen. Wow. The so-and-so show players did a great job as always. Eh, kind of pitchy. You're one to talk. Well, excuse me. Reveal the question. <laughs> Today's question is, when have you needed a plan? Yeah. You might have needed a plan to complete an assignment for school. Maybe you've had a plan to get healthy or get stronger. Yeah, I wish I had a plan when Cassie and I signed up for the singing competition. My plan didn't work out so well. It's true, sometimes our plans don't work out the way we expect. That's another reason why we should trust God. Yeah, so talk about it together. When have you needed a plan? Hey, do you have a plan to make things right with your cousin? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm gonna see if she'll let me play piano the next time she sings. Oh, I didn't know you could play the piano. Oh, I don't, but it seems pretty easy. Yeah, oh boy. Okay, we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. It's easy, right? Playing the piano? No, it's not easy. Can I wing it? No! Yeah, 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 yeah! Citrus! Citrus! Oh, yeah. Grapefruits! Grapefruits! Don't take that with medications! I can't, my mouth burns! Yeah! Grapefruits! Yeah, yeah, grapefruits! Yeah, yeah! Hey! Put it into a juice. Drink it up. It's juice Put it now. Into the, uh, 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 it's juice now. Hey. Juice. Orange tangerines. In a grapefruit glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's harder with three people, man. I love Our Bible story today was a great reminder of confidence. So today, I want you to remember. That is such a great reminder, and I hope it's one that you'll think about again and again as you go through the rest of your week. I also want you to remember this month's memory verse. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This is really an excellent memory verse for you to commit to memory as we go through this summer talking about what it means to have confidence. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope you have an awesome week coming up. I also hope that you'll join us over on our Quake Kids page for more activities and ideas as well as for some other worship experience options. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.